I did it. Is it because it's tedious to navigate? Like most water temples? Um, let's see. Emanate alarm for bacon agaric added to object spanner catalog. Okay, but what the fuck does it do? I don't have any more of it. Where's the... this thing? <coughs> Ten minutes, okay. Black, black, black. So what do I want to do? Um, hold on. I need to establish some kind of an objective first. I can definitely go exploring. That's one thing. Jesus, this lag. Okay. I can make assemblers, but I don't currently have a reason to. Yeah, I have trucks now. I have two of them. I didn't do too much when I was playing earlier. I did a few things, and I'll go over them. One of them is I made trucks. Um, so there's no... Oh, wait. I can make... <clears throat> okay, I need another mushroom, but I don't have one. So that's one thing I can do, I can go do go get a single mushroom. I have no research left to do. Oh, I can convert alien carapaces into biomass. Not that I need to do that. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Yo. I don't think doing this has any purpose because I can't. I can't make a hundred motors, because I don't have the ability to make motors. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing left to research. I could go out into the world and just find stuff. I think that's all there's left for me to do. All that's left for me to do is just explore, I think. I think that's what I'll do. I do that let me cover what I did so the changes I made since I last uh, streamed are I made the 
I made my, my copper wire area. It used to just be one copper wire manufacturing machine, now it's three. Because I realized that I have enough throughput to do three of them comfortably without like changing much. So I did that. So now I have like three times the wire production. Um, the space elevator is now useless because after the re the uh, thing that we did yesterday, the resources we sent into it yesterday, um, there's no, like, the next one requires motors, and I don't have the ability to make motors, and I think it's, like, that's the limit of the alpha, like, I'm not allowed to go further, so. <coughs> <coughs> that's the end of that. Um, I moved to the equipment workbench. And I made these things to replace my biomass generators, which is, um, these are coal generators, because I, I did all the research I possibly could, and I only unlocked a few things, but one of them was coal power. And coal power is way, way the fuck better, because what, it, what I can do is I did a scan for coal, and I found that there was a coal deposit over here. Not very far from the base at all. In fact, it's right there. But as you can see, I had to make a bridge to it. There was no way for me to... There was no way for me to get over here, because there's this endless fucking death ravine here. So I made this bridge, and I plopped a miner on it, and this fucking coal deposit is pure. So it produces so much coal that I actually had to make the Mark II conveyor belt right there. That's the, like the level 2 conveyor belt that can move twice as many things. That's pumping into a truck station, and I programmed this truck over here to do a, a loop between this station and the one that's at the base to haul, uh, haul coal back instead of, like, in, instead of, like, using a really, really long conveyor belt. Because, like, the problem is that one mining station produces more coal than a single belt can even carry. So my options were make two belts that are slow, or make one belt that's fast but very, very expensive, or make a truck station, because I just unlocked those, and I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and I'll give that a shot. So I made this, and now it kind of, um, it fucking excuse me? This is most certainly not, what the fuck? Where did you, what the fuck? Where did you get- did you pull this out of my truck just now, you asshole? Didn't ask you to do that. Oh, look, it's all over the place. God damn, give me this. What the fuck? Uh, give me my fucking cables back. Are you- you done taking all my shit? <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, is that... I think that's a bucket of screws in my way. Okay, hold on. Let me have to fucking get rid of this conveyor belt. Yeah, I need to get rid of this conveyor belt. Let me remake them. Because the fucking truck station stole the shit out of the back of my truck. There. Okay, there. That could have been bad. These things burn coal very fast. Not as nearly as fast as the, uh, the plant over there produces them, but they consume them very quick. And each of these produces 50 megawatts, so, like, my ceilings weigh the fuck up here because I have the two coal plants produce 100, which is, like, you know, here. And then there's the biomass burners that came with my hub, and those are both running for a total of 140. But when they stop running... I should still have enough power to power everything. I'll be very close to the ceiling, but if I need to make another coal thing, I can. Like, that's not... They're a little expensive, but I have the coal to fuel them. That's definitely not a problem. <coughs> make sure to stay way the fuck out of that thing's way so it doesn't steal the shit out of my truck again. So I did that. I, I tried my hand at making a... Um, a second story for this place, but it didn't go very well. <coughs> <coughs> when I 
when I needed to make the coal plants, they were obviously too tall for the floor that I built, so I had to tear down what I made. And the space station thing is in the way, and my hub is also pretty tall. So I was just like, you know what, there's too much bullshit that's too tall, so I'll just not do a second story. And the other thing I did, the last thing I did, was I went out exploring. I went out this way. Um, I found <clears throat> I found some new enemies, which were assholes. And I found that there's an iron deposit, like that way, really near my base, that has a ton of iron. Like, I could stick four miners on it or something like that. Like, if so if I suddenly need a lot of iron, that's definitely the next place for me to mine out. But... So the only thing left for me to do, I guess, is just to explore, which is disappointing. I didn't realize I'd pretty much finished everything. I thought I had more objectives to meet, but I don't. I've beaten the alpha. It, it didn't last long. <coughs> <coughs> Oh yeah, that's right. So I went exploring earlier because um, there was one research left for me to do, which was get ten alien carapaces, and uh, so I needed to go out and get those, so I did. I got killed in the process by an enemy that was in a grove that was like really tough. It was basically just these dog things that I've been fighting, but bigger. It was just the same thing, but bigger. These motherfuckers, these fucking things, here, let me show what these do. Hi. Yo. They fucking emit this fireball thing, and it, god, it fucking hurts. It's beating up my fucking truck. Man, the game is taking such a shit. It's just because I'm streaming, like, that's... Streaming does this to it. Apparently this game basically takes exactly all of my system resources and anything extra like this that's somewhat intensive, like streaming, will make it lag. Oh yeah, okay, here. So I've not been here before, this is new, but it looks really cool. But, um, so when I was out exploring earlier, I found a wreck just like this one. And I guess here's another one. I want to get on the tractor. On top of the tractor. So I can be safe up on the tractor. Not going to let me do it, huh? You're not dead yet? <clears throat> You're dead now. Bitch. Give me your shit. I made a gun, as you can see. It's not much of a gun, but it works. So let's see what we've got around here. Leaves. There's some reinforced iron plate. The other crash site I found had reinforced steel, which I can't make, nor can I use for anything. It also had like a, um, <clears throat> it had like a, there was a thing, a, a lever that I could pull, but it said like, you're missing, you need like quick cable or something to do this. And I can't make quick cable, and I don't know what it is. There's... Oh, is this another one of those? Can I go underwater? No. Can I jump out of the water? No. Open drop pod. Repairs needed. Battery broken needs 20 megawatt hours. Pod damage needs four steel plate. I don't have four. So I can't open this. I don't know what you get if you do open those. What's that over there? There's a black rock. Is that coal? What is that? Is that, is that coal? You know, a big lake like this, I figured it'd be pretty deep. But it's like... I'm basically in waist high water right now. And this asshole's swimming through it. Oh, good enemies. <coughs> <coughs> These. 
these doggo fuckers are uh, not much when they're alone, but they're a little dangerous when they're in groups. Watch, I swim all the way over here, and it turns out it's just like a pile of coal that I don't need. Oh, I missed. Bitch. Oh, I missed! No! Dead. I don't know how much ammo I made for this thing. Apparently, 125 is what I have left. So what is this? This coal? Yeah, it's coal. Don't really need that. Okay, I'd like to explore over here, but I don't want to get too far from my truck because I have very quickly realized that um, when you're driving a truck around, enemies don't... Um, <coughs> enemies ignore you when you're in a truck. You'd think they wouldn't, especially since the truck actually does have a health bar. But they do. I would like to climb to the top of that mountain, but I imagine not having a very good time doing that. I could try. I'm kind of curious how much of this world you actually can explore. Like, even the small amount of it that I've already seen is huge. And contains so many resources, like, I don't think I'd ever use all of these. <coughs> <laughs> Actually, that's probably not true. I can, like, if the end game objectives were really, really expensive, like they probably are, then, yeah, I probably would wind up using all of what I've seen so far, but still. Oh, hold on, I missed some shit. There's a cable here, some wire here, leaves, anything else? Nope, just wreckage. Okay. Now, what the fuck is that? What are you? What? Can I help you? No. You got a bit of a rat tail going on there. Okay, now what happens if I kill you? Nothing. Here's the question. Can I ford the river? Oh, hold on. Hold the phone before I do that. What are these? Are these just trees? These trees? Can I cut them down? Mycelia. You don't say. The fuck do I do with that? Where's my rebar gun? There it is. Mycelia. Used for crafting. Okay. Okay, can we ford the river? Yes. I was worried. I was afraid we might might not make it over that that rushing river there. Moving at a whole two feet an hour. There's more of these mushroom tree things if I wanted more of that stuff. I just don't know what it does. I assume I can probably research it and find out. I've also come to realize very quickly that uh, driving this truck kind of sucks. What is this? Caterium ore, pure. 
I don't know what this is. I've also been finding raw quartz around, and I haven't found a use for that. There's some enemies there. There's more of that shit that I could research, but I don't... Oh shit. These fuckers are gonna kick my ass. Where are you at? Oh yeah? Where? What the fuck? I can't see shit. No! No! There's three of them! No! Eh. Bitch! I missed! Give me the carapace. It's gone. I don't know where it went. Eh! There it is. Okay, there should be one more. Where is he? Dead. Give me your shit. Come here. I don't think I need it, but I'm taking it anyway. They attacked me. I want it fair and square. Who oh boy. Ooh, there's one of those green slug things. Let's see. Oh, there's those fucking flowers over there. I'll have to show you guys what those do. Oh, there's some right here. We might get to find out. Yep, here we go. Oh, no. No? Yep. They just kind of blow themselves up, turn into these bug things, which apparently home in the motherfuckers. Good. So it this plant blows up and releases some heat seeking fucking bugs. Give me this. Where's the you? Come here. It's this. Nope! Where are you at? Nope! Is this some more quartz? Is this quartz? Bauxite. I think I've heard that name before. Where have I heard that name before? Nice. Don't know what I need this for, but I have it. That's what they're protecting. They're protecting a green slug. Eh. <clears throat> I don't know how to repair this truck when it gets damaged from these things. Wish I knew. Seems like good things to know. That's a yellow power slug. Hold on, what does that do? I don't know yet. I think I'm still researching that. There's one of those fire-spitting motherfuckers. I wonder if I can manage to kill it.
Where are you going? Where are you? There it is. Man, your pathfinding is none too good, is it? Man, you can take some hits. Give me anything good? Alien organs. Yeah, okay. Hold on, what's that? Is that a lizard doggo? Oh, hold on, what's this? Getting distracted every five seconds by shiny objects. I don't need copper ore. <coughs> okay, let's see what else we got. We got... There's something glowing over here. Oh, come on. Driving these trucks is, uh... It's not, not really a fun experience, I'd have to say. Okay. I see an enemy there. Can I just grab it and go? Yes. Okay, I can go out that way. There's a big basin here. What is this? Is this just a nasty tree? What is this? What is this shit growing on this tree? This is a nasty tree. Okay, that looked about right. Let's see, got more of those homing fuckers. There's that red crystal. There's a crashed thing. I should probably kill this motherfucker. Oh, he's not dead! No! How much punishment can you take? Dude. How many fucking iron spikes do I have to shove directly into your mouth hole? Oh, good. It crashed. It fucking crashed. I killed it and it crashed. I would I don't know how much progress I lost. <coughs> I don't know how often the thing decides to autosave. Okay, well I figured it was gonna relaunch the game, but it sure didn't. Did my stream die? No, it looks fine. Okay. Okay, where are we at? Please tell me I'm just like in that same area. Oh. Fuck! Okay, that was a terrible place for it to quick save. Okay, so that, this was when I camped out against that guy, so then what I did was I came over here. I found a power slug in the woods, I think. Or maybe I didn't. And then I came over here and just fought this guy, so yeah. Ow, that fucking hurt, goddammit. Goddamn, he's got some aim. Oh, it splits into three, that's why. I don't know how I'm supposed to do anything about that. 
You wanna you wanna die? Dude. You're being an asshole right now. God damn. So what'd you drop? More of the same. Not not really worth it. Do I have any healing items with me? Uh yes. Not enough though. I don't know why I didn't grab some of those before I left. That was dumb. So there's a crash site up there. There's some unknown rock right there. There's more fire spitting enemies over there that I don't really want to deal with. Limestone pure. Is that plant floating? No, it's not. Let's get this red rock here. This sucking thing looks like if I grab it, it's gonna fucking kill me. Missing concrete. Can't do that. Well, that's gonna have to wait then. There's a green power slug up there. Seems like that's probably worth getting. If this fucking truck can climb this hill well enough. This is not how trucks work. I should be able to throw this thing into first gear and just have it climb right up this no problem. Eh. Eh. Come on. Ugh. Get up the hill. Stop colliding with nothing, you bastard. Where's that slug? Oh, I fell. Yep, there's there's my naders. Please don't hurt me. Don't send me flying off the cliff! Don't touch me, motherfucker. You have a fucking piece of rebar in your ass. I'm leaving. What the hell is this? Oh, it's another one of those parrot things. That looks like that's probably iron or copper. Game's taking a shit. Here's just some bushes. Here's a cave. That looks cool. I'm interested. I want to check that out. Holy shit, this is just straight up a cave. So can I interact with these mushroom things? Is that... Wait, I can pick this up. That's the same shit that was on that other tree. What is this? Is this a tree? Does this count as a tree? It sure does. He gave me a bunch of mycelia and limestone. That's not really... Not really what I'm interested in. <coughs> Is that coral? Oops. Good camera angle. There are some pretty trees going on up there. I'd like to check those out. I don't know how to get to them, though. Other than exploring, what all is left? Nothing. Just exploring, to my knowledge. I did all the research. That was all that was left to do. I can't progress the research past Tier 3. And we finished, or we got to Tier 3 last night. All I did earlier today was just put the resources into it. To unlock it and stuff. Also, all we can do is look around and see what sort of weird shit they put in the world. 
Okay, there's deposits of something. <clears throat> Can the truck sustain a fall? Yes. What is this a deposit of? Rebar do I have left? 101. This is iron. I really wish I could do more. Like, I wish I could get further into the game. Because I know you can make trains. And I wanted to do that. But. That's not for open alpha stuff. That's for people who already had an alpha key. Which is really bullshit. That's dumb. I don't know why they did that. <coughs> <coughs> the game releases in early access on March 19th, but I'm not entirely sure. What the fuck? These some stone ass tumbleweeds. It's just a lake with what appears to be nothing of interest in it. Um. I know there's a lot more in this game. There's three whole more tiers that I just don't of, of research that I don't have access to. And there's a lot of features in the game that I just don't have access to. So it, it releases in early access on the 19th, which isn't very far away. And it's $30, which, you know, that's not that expensive. And um, so I'm thinking I might do that. The problem is when it does come out, that's a Tuesday, and I'll be in Austin at the time, so I won't be able to play it right away. But that's fine, whatever, I don't need to, I can just play it when I get back. But Or if my laptop can handle it, maybe I can play it on my laptop. I don't I don't think my laptop can handle this game. I mean, I'll try. It sure as hell can't handle playing it and streaming it, that's for sure. That is just a bizarre fucking flower right there. I kind of want to check that out. A lot of these, like, turret plants around. Oh, hold on. There's one of those trees right there. I'm going to closer look at it. This area is very pretty. There's not really much of interest in it, but it's pretty. Oh, come on. That counts as a tree? Fuck you. It, with all the water around here, I'm starting to think maybe if they haven't already added a boat, that they probably should. Okay, this... This is not a tree. This, is, this would be a rock. Okay, what the fuck is that? I'm gonna have to kill this motherfucker to get to it. Is this clams? Ew. I wonder if my truck is immune when I'm in it. Oh shit. Or when I'm not in it, rather. I probably need to research these random organ things I've been finding. That's probably... Like, the, the new resources I've found while I've been out, I probably... I can research those and find out what they do. Um, excuse you, sir. You wanna... You, you wanna have an animation? You wanna just not slide around? That'd be... Okay. You, you, you do that. Found the fucking desert. Is there 
there just a bunch of iron here? Is that what this is? Hold on. What is this? Is this a rock? It's a rock. <coughs> Does the epic launcher allow gifting? Um, I don't know if it does. That is a stupid thing about this game. It's exclusive on the Epic Launcher for a year. So if you wanted it on Steam, fuck you. You have to wait a year. And I do want it on Steam. I don't want it on the fucking Epic Launcher. All my other games are on Steam. I don't want an entire launcher for one game. That's dumb. But... I also don't usually agree with the notion of funding a game in early access because there is way too much evidence that giving devs all the money that they want from a game in early access means that it will never be finished. I wonder how far away from home I am at this point. This area is very cloudy. Well, what's the deal with that? Man, how is anyone ever going to explore all this shit? Okay. Well... I assume it's possible for me to get over there and cross this shit. I don't have the tools with me. <coughs> But I assume that's not just the edge of the map. Although it it actually does look kind of flat. It looks like it might be the skybox. Eh. Is this procedurally generated? No, it's not. It's a static world. At the beginning of the game, it let me choose be between uh, three places to start start out start off in, but because I don't have a full key, uh, I couldn't choose the other two places. It only let me pick one spot. I hope the water actually does something. You know. Ugh. Are you, is this how you're going to play it? Are you going to sit here and guard this? Asshole. Taking this. That, look at these fucking weird trees. They're like, they're growing potato scallops. Why is my character a jabroni? I don't know what you mean. He's just wearing work overalls and a backpack. I don't know how that makes him a jabroni. Can I chop down that tree? <coughs> <coughs> doesn't have a highlight or anything, so the answer is no. Okay, these fucking weird red-ass trees, I gotta be able to cut these down, right? Yes, I sure can. What do I get for doing that? Wood, leaves, and flower petals. Great. Good. That's boring. That's a drop. That's a drop into water. My base is apparently that direction. 
So I guess I'll do whatever I can to not go that direction. Kind of, kind of hitting a wall here, though. Stupid turret plant thing. The fuck even is these? Oh, hold on, I can go down this way. What is this? Oh, too fast! Ugh. A lot of this looks like it used to be underwater and just now isn't. <coughs> oh shit. Do I have more fuel? I do. Is that the mountain I said I wanted to climb? I think it is. I can't believe I just wound up accidentally getting here. Oh. Oh. I don't think I can get to that right now. Don't know if I can get to that at all. There's some interesting topology over there, but <coughs> <coughs> I don't see how I'm supposed to get to it. There's water in the way. I guess I'll head back to base and get more fuel. I'm going to need it soon. If I can figure out where the base is. What the fuck? Why is my car jittering around so much? What is this? What am I hitting? I'm not hitting anything. Stop jittering. <coughs> oh good, are we just not going to be able to climb this hill? Is that what this is right now? Come on, look at this behemoth truck. It should be able to... God, what's with this camera filter? the fucking sun in my eyes. Ah, poison! What the hell? That whole area was fucking toxic. Why? That's nasty. Why? What are these fucking toxin emitter things I keep finding? It's fucking nasty, man. I don't have any way to, like, cover them up or get rid of them or anything. <coughs> hmm. Beep beep, motherfuckers! Watch the fuck out! I have only very loose control over this thing. Oh good, more fucking toxin emitters. Why? Set upon by a swarm of bugs? Ugh.
Yeah, this... Oh, shit. This game could really, really use a map. I'd really like to know where I've been and where I haven't been. Seems like something worth knowing. Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need this. What does this even do? Oh, I can't find out right now. There's a green slug protected by a great many of these same fucking plants. Okay, here's what I want to know. Can I attack these plants from a distance? On account of these assholes. Yes. Now, that doesn't make the bugs they contain go away. Get me. Eh, eh. Okay. Why are you guys more attracted attracted to my truck than to me? That doesn't make any sense. Come here. Leave my truck alone. Oh god damn it, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Fine. You guys like my fucking truck so much. Take it. Boop. Just run the fucker over. And get stuck on nothing. Fuck all of y'all. Oh, 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 that's what I got stuck on. That's what I got stuck on right there. This motherfucker. You, you okay? Are you, are you supposed to be doing that? <clears throat> what does this do? <clears throat> Bacon agaric. Eaten to restore tooth health, definitely? Yeah, heck yeah, that's good. Hey! Nice. Now that I broke through this fucking barrier, is there anything of value over here? There's that mountain I'd like to climb. Uh, no, more of the same. An interesting structure that I can't seem to get to. I see a green power slug over there. So I can get over there, I just don't, I don't want to do it without making a bridge, which is slow and tedious anyway. Time for Georg, huh? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, he's not a lot of fun. The fuck? Oh, my base is in that direction. Apparently almost straight south. Looks like we're gonna take a little dip in the river. Eh. What the fuck is this? Mercer Sphere. It's mine now. What the holy hell is that? There's a fucking blimp up there? I'd really like to check that out. Too bad I can't get up there. Yeah, you know, the constant noise of this fucking truck sounding like an 18-wheeler constantly, not pleasant to listen to, not good traveling music.
Oh, hey, this is that cave I went through earlier, I think. Cool deal. <coughs> so I know I'm not too far at this point. You know, it'll tell me the distance in meters of like, oh, hold on a second. I forgot to check out this crashed ship. Motor 2. Huh, really? That happens to be the stuff I need to send in the, uh, that's the stuff that I can't make that I need to put in the space elevator. I need like a hundred of them though or something. I'm not gonna find them by scavenging spaceships, I presume. Now here's what's gonna happen. You motherfuckers are gonna leave me alone, and I'm going to climb this cliff. You're not gonna not even for a second. Didn't let me get away with that for a second. There's definitely some geographically very interesting things going on here. Just kind of wish they had more of use in them. Get going like 50 kilometers an hour, get stopped by a small twig. <clears throat> oh, hold on. What is that? around. There's a lizard doggo. No, there's no enemies around. What is this? Come on, this boulder has a has big cracks in it. You're not telling me this boulder's nothing. Are you telling me this boulder's nothing? Oh, come on. How is it nothing? This is bullshit. It's not just any boulder. It's a rock. Oh shit. Well, I see my base. The fucking... oh, never mind. I was thinking there's a cliff separating the two of us, but no. There's a way up over here. Oh shit, I think there's a way up over here. I can't tell if that path is complete. Oh, well, we got some thick trees to go through. That's not good. Can't see shit. Oh fuck, this path, this path isn't complete at all, is it? Well, no, yeah, I guess it is just kind of small. And this stupid truck can barely climb it. Yeah, no, I see you guys. You're very dumb. Grab the shit and go! Go! Go!
Are you guys still following me? Yeah, you are. Home sweet home. I see my fucking space needle. Oh, here's that uh, massive iron deposit, and it also has a green slug sitting on it. Also a green slug over there. So wait, hold on. There's that that big iron deposit right there. What is this? Is this more iron? Is this even more iron? <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And that's limestone over there. God, there's so many resources just right here. Oh yeah, now that I have this gun, I can shoot down those flying things. I'm gonna give that a shot. Wait, what the fuck? What is going over her head right now? What? Oh, it's the shadow of my fucking tower. Oh wait, this was the iron mine I saw before. Huh. Okay, so then that's just another one. Interesting stuff. Seriously, why with these fucking poison rocks? Why does there need to be one right next to my base? What is this? Why are they here? What do they do? Just this whole area is rendered toxic by this stupid shit for no reason. <coughs> <coughs> Can the truck drive over the conveyor belts? No. Well, that's a problem. The hell is that? Oh, that's one of those fucking enemies. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's see if we can teach him what's what. My fucking gun. Can't tell if I'm doing damage. I'm gonna shoot it until it dies. What the fuck? What are you are you seriously not taking damage? And I'm looking it up. The fuck? Oh. I'm finding information. <coughs> <coughs> okay, let's see. Satisfactory wiki. Does this have any information on it yet? Flora and fauna. Okay. Lizard dog, bird alien, I think I've seen. Yeah. Jungle finch, I didn't see. Manta ray alien, that's those flying things, I assume. Yeah, that's the flying things. Doesn't say anything about it. 
Land whale long legs. Flower alien. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Doesn't say a goddamn thing. Not a goddamn thing. So, I'm going to assume I'm not actually hurting it. I just wasted a ton of ammo, but it was really cheap to make. Okay, now now here's what I want to know. Can I ram into it? Fuck you! Uh, no, I can't. Back up! Backing up! What? Okay. That didn't do shit. I need a way to get over my own conveyor belts. I guess I'll have to make a circle around the lab. Or the factory, I guess. So, the funny thing I noticed about the space elevator is that it, uh... It actually is one... <coughs> long, complete circuit. Like... It goes all the way up. You can't actually... It, it is infinitely upward. Which makes no sense. Eh. Come down here, you piece of shit. I want your ass. I don't think I'm hitting it. You motherfucker. The next time I see it overhead in my base, I'm gonna shoot it. Where's my truck? There it is. Let's go and research some of this shit I found. coal delivery truck ran out of coal, apparently. The fucking loading stations aren't doing their job. They're supposed to load this thing with coal. And they're not. That annoys me. Okay, so finally we can give our ears a rest from the noise of this fucking truck. So I'm done with it. at all this shit I found. Let's see. We can have bauxite I don't know what to do with. Alien carapaces. There's just some random chunk of coal I have for no reason. Biofuel I should probably keep in the truck. Taking this other random shit out. see what else what else what else so go ahead and take one of these five of these oh yeah is this thing done analyzing sure is the crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fix-it technology several buildings would be capable of performing over 100 percent capacity if infused the derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub well, that's not very original, just two. You can... Okay, that gets done in four and a half minutes. So the yellow ones just make two. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and convert those, whatever. Uh... 
32 caterium ore, no idea what it does, but it's smelted. Reinforced steel plates. Can't use those for anything. Sam ore that I have not found that I can use for anything. Healing nut. Just some more random coal. Used for radio and quantum technology. I sure wish I could actually do that, because that sounds cool. Color cartridges, another stack of plunder coal for no reason. Some biomass that's left over, some bauxite. Turned into aluminum ingots via an advanced smelting process. So in other words, shit I can't do. station's almost full. And for some reason these alien organs can't be researched or used for fucking anything. Organs from alien creatures doesn't do a goddamn thing. That's annoying. Caterium ore does nothing. Sam ore nothing. It really sucks. It should do something. stuff that I have into stuff that I can convert it into. <coughs> Bunch of biofuel, not that I need it. I'm completely coal driven now, so this biofuel is totally useless to me, but I have the resources that do nothing other than make this, so I may as well make this with it. These power shards I know I can use to upgrade buildings. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Oh, right, I forgot. I need to... I can do... The, okay, I can do this. This is one... Th oh, shit, I ate them. I ate the two mushroom things, damn it. Yellow shards. Select milestone. Take your... Oh, okay. Here, here's a hundred plates. 142 plates. Okay. Wow, is this really, yeah, this is full of iron plates. Can I, like, upgrade these, these machines? I sure can. Can I remove it after having done so? I sure can. I overclocked the fuck out of this thing. Oh my god, it takes a ton of power. 17 megawatts just for this one machine to do this with this full overclock. Okay, hold on. Let me let me check my power grid. Can it handle that? No. <laughs> no, it can't. It cannot handle that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, now I know I can do that. Let's 
uh, just go ahead and flick that back on. I'll have to make another coal generator before I can start overclocking shit. Okay. You wanted more plates, iron rods. Oh, you also want wire. Do I have any wire in here? What? What do you mean I ran out of power? How? What? Is it because the biomass generators went offline? It must be. Well, shit. Well, fine, whatever. I don't really need the power right now, I guess. I mean, what I should do is just make another fucking coal generator. Coal generator. I just need five rotors. That's easy. generator in line with the other two. Boop. And then we just plug her in. Nice. And just like that, connect it to something. Something. Connect it to something. Missing wire times three. Shit. Hundred and fifty megawatts. Boom. No problem at all. And now I can also actually probably afford to overclock one of these. I don't really need to though, not yet. Mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Okay, in another 10 minutes I'll have another one of those ready. I can also now research fabric. Easy enough. Those requirements are really low. In fact, I have the materials in my inventory for it right now. <coughs> I have to wait four minutes for the fucking pod to return, though. The way I have to wait for resources to process like that is pretty annoying.
dice. Okay. Level three minutes. God damn, I have to kill so much time doing, you know, fuck all. Gotta get this concrete out of my inventory. I probably don't even have a space to put it. Uh, actually, no, I do. shit doesn't need to be in my inventory. I have extra copper bars, but yeah, there's nothing I can do to fix that. So I guess I'll just convert them into wire manually. I mean, if I have to do it manually, I've been down there for hours. should probably also make a cable making machine. It's not too often that I have to go come over here and make cable, but I do need it sometimes, and a screw making machine. But there's nothing left to spend them on, really, so there's not really a point for me to do that. Like, the only thing really left for me to do in the game now is, like, I could scale up my factory and make it so that every item on this list is made automatically and very quickly, and that would be a lot of work. Um, but I could do it, and it would be something that, like, when the full game comes out, I'm pretty sure I get to keep my save file, so, like, it would help me later, <clears throat> but I just don't terribly feel like doing it right now, I guess. I think I'm kind of, I'm pretty much done with this for now. Once I'm done with the last few things, I'm finishing up here. Because there's just nothing really left for me to do that interests me. Cable, screw. I don't know what else I would do. research any of this stuff? <clears throat> no. It's really stupid. Uh, yeah, well... No, I'm, I'm kind of... <clears throat> I want to take a break from factory building games for a little bit. Immediately send out another load. Unlocked fabric. Okay. Object scanner mushroom is the last recipe because I ate both my mushrooms like an idiot. This thing still needs another five minutes to process my cilia, and then it'll need some time to process fabric. Not that I'm likely to do anything with that. Okay, I can make biomass out of my cilia thanks to that. I can also make fabric as a material but I don't see that it can be used for anything. How about in the equipment section? No. I can't use fabric for anything. Okay. Takes two leaves and one mycelia. Why? Why can I make this if it doesn't do anything? That's fake and gay. I I think I wanna just take a break from gaming for a bit. My head is full, I guess.
you know, I've been going at this for a while. I played it for a good while earlier. I still need to burn three minutes. There's just not a goddamn thing I can do. So if these consume 5.4 a second, no, no, these consume one every 5.4 seconds. So each of these takes, okay, let's just say five seconds. So then that would mean this, if it were five even, this would take Twelve. Twelve coal per minute. I can fit sixty coal per minute on one of those slow belts. And I'm getting 120 coal per minute. So off of that one coal mine, I can fuel over... Let's see. If one of these takes 12 per minute, then 12 goes into 64 times, four, eight. So that one coal mine can power eight of these, I think. Because if I were to take 120 out of that, split it into two 60s, and then take each of those, and split each of those into four. Two sixties, each split into two thirties. Each would feed over two machines. It's more than that. So I can power over eight of these fucking things off that one coal mine. Damn, that is a lot of power. And each one of these produces 50 megawatts of power, so that means on eight alone, that'd be 400 megawatts. And I'm currently not even using 150. Over 400 megawatts. I'm not, I'm barely using half of this. Like, I'm using like two thirds of this. There's still a lot more I could do, a lot more machines I could make that increase the consumption, but still. This type of mycelia has strong healing properties. R&D oh. has created a blueprint you can access in the hub. Medical inhaler? Oh. Okay, there's stuff left for me to do a little bit. I can also do, so object scanner mushroom I can't do. I can actually research 10 fabric. Okay, so there is a point for me to make fabric, so I need leaves. Oh. Well, won't take me long to get them. <sighs> perfect. I like how the, the icon for fabric is just a perfect white square. So it's literally a blank texture. It, it has no icon. It's just null. Okay, that's going to take seven and a half minutes. All right, that's fine. That gives me time to get 25 each of those and a thousand of that. So there's almost a thousand of that right there. My automatic wire making machines are really, really helping out a lot because goddamn they make a lot of wire.
Oh, shit, there he is. I'm probably, the bullet probably isn't even getting high enough. hitting it, it's ignoring me. I can't do anything with whatever that is. That sucks. Okay, so I made the fabric, I put it in the thing. Next, um, I wanted to make reinforced iron plates times 25. I tried to kill the Sky Manta, I couldn't do it. He's too high up. Also, my bullets are so small in comparison to him, even if I did hit him, he'd probably just come down here and kick my ass. And he's got a bunch of, like, things flying around him, so I assume that if he did that, I wouldn't just get attacked by one enemy, but, like, 25. Okay, then I also need 25 rotors. There's your rotors, there's your copper cable, there's your iron plate, medical inhaler. How do you make that? How do I make that? at the equipment station, right? There it is. So it takes, uh, shit, it takes one of those bacon mushrooms, two pale berries, five nut, and two mycelia, and this thing does what? Y you're not gonna tell me? Oh, there we go. Inhale to fully restore health. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, well it's a little expensive. These three components aren't bad that much. Like a little bit of exploring will get me lots of this. But the the bacon mushrooms kinda they're kinda rare. So I have to hold off on that. Thing, other thing left for me to research is still just one mushroom, and I need to wait for this to finish. Yeah, another two and a half minutes. Oh, while well, I'm waiting on that, make more bullets. Never have enough bullets. I could actually make a bullet making machine.
this. How much would that overclock hurt my grid? Eh, a little bit. About that. Yeah, a little bit. Do these things even receive iron fast enough now? No. If they take 75 a minute each, oh my god. Uh, this one's about to be full anyway. This one's got a long ways to go. Yeah, I don't even produce enough iron for that. Oh, it's actually not that I'm not producing enough. It's bottlenecked by this splitter because each line is only getting 30 a minute whereas this takes 37.5 and that takes 75 so I probably want to go ahead and speed that shit up make uh do I have some iron plates? I sure do actually so let me get rid of this oops and then what I can do is make the fast conveyor belt. Whoosh. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking iron going through there. That's what I'm talking about. So uh upgrade this. There we go. That'll do just fine. I definitely have noticed a bit of a problem with the logistics in this game, and that is, like, you can't have a unified process for things. You can't have, like, one belt that delivers a massive amount of iron, amounts of iron that splits into a bunch of other things, like, and you can't, like, have everything feed into a single storage container, and then, or set of storage containers, and then have, like, a whole set of storage containers feed out into a massive, like, it doesn't really, I mean, it, it can, it's just really hard to do that, because these splitter things are meant for horizontal splitting, not so much vertical. You can stack belts vertically, I have the thing that lets you do that, but it's, it kind of, there's no splitter equivalent or anything, so it kind of makes a mess. Out of research. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. Oh. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Parachute. Okay. Unlocked parachute. Okay. Parachute takes 10 fabric. I can make 10 fabric, no problem. And that makes five parachutes, apparently. <coughs> What did that do for me? Consumable. Slows down your fall when activated in midair. How, but how do I activate it? I guess just like that. 
What? I just used them. I used all five of them just now. Are you serious? All I did was jump and slow the fall of the jump. And that consumed all five. What the fuck? That was such a complete waste. It didn't waste much because it wasn't very expensive, but like, what the fuck was that? Why did it take five? Okay, well, other than finding a single mushroom, that's it. I can do nothing else. The game is done. Well, I'm intrigued by it. I really, really, really hope that there's, like, a lot more scaling up and progression to it. Because, um, I mean, I know there is, but, like, I really hope it gets, like, Factorio levels. Uh, so far it doesn't seem like I don't know it's really hard to manage machines like this in 3D because I don't have a good view of things I was kind of worried that this would happen I kind of don't like that conveyor belts just kind of form these curves and things. I'd actually rather that they worked more like the pipes do in Minecraft, where it's like you just, you make a pipe and it does that. I like things being aligned to a grid. Most of the stuff here is aligned to a grid thanks to the floor, like the panels, but I like there being a minimum unit of movement that's like everything conforms to. I think that's causing me problems. Which is kind of a stupid complaint, but I don't know. Well, anyway. That's it. I'm done. So, sorry that there wasn't much in this stream and it was probably very boring, but uh, I didn't realize that I had no progression left. I didn't realize that I did most of the research. So, I'll come back to this game, I guess, when the Early Access comes out in a couple weeks. Thanks. I'll uh, see you guys another time.